So once again, here we are. Last time I made a video about erythritol and some findings about that. There's a new study that came out in the Journal of Toxicology and Environmental Health, Part B, and it essentially talks about how toxic sucralose is. And erythritol is naturally occurring in nature, so I feel like as long as you are consuming it in moderation, it's not as bad as sucralose. But like sucralose, I absolutely stay away from. I do not touch, I do not consume products that contain sucralose. Inevitably, sometimes they will add it to some medication. So by all means, like please do your best to avoid sucralose. It is so toxic. Hello, my name is Bridget. I'm a nurse practitioner. So let's get into it. A new study reveals health concerns about the sugar substitute sucralose. It's so alarming that researchers said people should stop eating it and that the government should regulate it more. Now, sucralose is found in things like uh, Diet Pepsi. Uh, a lot of these sugar-free, trust me, you're doing more damage to your body now of course if you're a diabetic i'm not telling you go and you know have real sugar and then your sugars are gonna spike right but you may need to just quit i know it's hard but you may just need to stop drinking that diet pepsi find something else a tea i know it's hard there's monk fruit but this this is just wreaking havoc on your on your genes on your metabolism sucralose is sold under the brand name of splenda and is also used as an ingredient in packaged foods and beverages now the findings were published in the journal of toxicology and environmental health part b and the researchers conducted a series of laboratory experiments exposing human blood cells and gut tissue to sucralose 6 acetate and the findings build on previous research that linked sucralose to gut health problems the researchers found that sucralose causes dna to break apart putting people at risk for disease they also linked sucralose to what they call leaky gut syndrome, which means the lining of the intestines are worn down and become permeable. Symptoms are a burning sensation, painful digestion, diarrhea, gas, and bloating. When a substance damages DNA, it is called genotoxic, and researchers have found that eating sucralose results in the body producing a substance called sucralose 6-acetate, which this study essentially shows that sucralose is genotoxic. It damages DNA. The researchers also found that sucralose 6-acetate in trace amounts in off-the-shelf products are so high that they would exceed the safety levels currently allowed in Europe. The team conducted in vitro tests involving human gut tissues exposed to sucralose 6-acetate. When the researchers exposed gut epithelial tissue, that is our intestinal tissue, which lined the gut wall to these chemicals, they observed that both substances induced leaky gut. It means that there is an increased permeability of the gut wall where the chemicals damage the tight junctions that connect the cells in the gut lining. The consequences of leaky gut are concerning. Dr. Schiffman was the lead researcher uh, Susan Schiffman, PhD, she's an adjunct professor of biomedical engineering at North Carolina State University. What this means is that substances that should be eliminated through feces are instead leaking out of the gut and entering the bloodstream. Schiffman emphasizes that this work raises a host of concerns about the potential health effects associated with sucralose and its metabolites. Additionally, the researchers examined the genetic activity of the gut cells when exposed to sucralose 6-acetate and they discovered an increased activity in genes related to oxidative stress, inflammation, and carcinogenicity. Carcinogenicity is a, a substance that essentially causes cancer in the body. When your body is inflamed, it, it just predisposes you to many conditions. These findings further contribute to the growing body of evidence indicating significant risks associated with sucralose. Dr. Schiffman urges people to avoid products containing sucralose. She also notes that it is time to revisit the safety and regulatory status of sucralose. If nothing else, Dr. Schiffman encourages people to avoid products containing sucralose. Currently, the FDA says that sucralose is safe, describes it as 600 times sweeter than table sugar, and it's used in baked goods, beverages, chewing gums, gelatins, and frozen dairy desserts. To determine the safety of sucralose, the FDA reviewed more than 110 studies designed to identify possible toxic effects so if you have Splenda, throw it away. 
try to cut back on sugar period there's no shortcuts to health and i know it's not popular like people want to have you know there's that saying you want to have your cake and eat it too but unfortunately when it comes to health there's no shortcuts if you're a diabetic talk to your endocrinologist talk to your healthcare provider see what they recommend thank you so much for watching make sure you like subscribe follow all of the above it helps me out tremendously let me know also what kinds of videos you would like to see